Russia's resources in the war against Ukraine are being exhausted at a rapid pace and a geopolitical catastrophe awaits the country. Russian propagandist and Z patriot Maxim Kalashnikov made this statement. He assured that the Russian Federation does not have the resources for a long war. That is why the Kremlin is trying to persuade Ukraine to suspend military operations. It is clear that the initial goals of the special military operation are already unattainable. That's it. Opportunities have been missed. And now the goals of the special military operation seem to be changing. A demand has been made from Moscow, an end to the war, a ceasefire with the conclusion of a comprehensive security treaty with NATO, finally on Ukraine, and so on. Kalashnikov said. He complained that the Russian leadership lives in illusions and is leading Russia down the Soviet path of disintegration. Don't tell us that we can still wage war for years, that everything is reliable and stable. No, right now the RF's feet are hanging over nothing. They are on thin ice and below is an abyss, an abyss. Our leadership should understand this and if they don't, then it's a completely different story. What is beginning now, I feel like I am in an analogue of 1988 to 1991. A new geopolitical catastrophe is threatening, complained the Z propagandist. Putin's Russia, which has declared itself the successor state of the Soviet Union and said this was the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 20th century, has every chance of repeating the fate of the Soviet Union. When in December 1979 an 80,000 Soviet army invaded Afghanistan, Things seemed to be going according to plan, but it soon became clear that capturing cities and several roads did not mean conquering the country. Armed resistance unfolded more and more. The whole country hated the occupiers and they responded accordingly, responded to the mass killings of civilians. Soviet aircraft and artillery wiped out towns and villages along with their inhabitants and shootings and torture took place at every turn. At least one million Afghans died during the Soviet intervention, but this did not break popular resistance. The free world was outraged by the barbaric Soviet attack on an independent state and the horrific crimes against Afghan citizens. The attitude towards the Soviet Union, already not very friendly, became openly hostile. 65 countries, including the United States, Canada, Germany, Japan and even China, boycotted the Summer Olympics in Moscow. The United States banned supplies of grain and machinery to the Soviet Union. Russia's war against Ukraine is in many ways similar to the Soviet war in Afghanistan, but there are many differences, and these differences do not favor the invaders. In that war, Ukrainians fought in the occupying army, and now they are defending their state from aggressors. Other former republics of the USSR, now independent states, are no longer fighting for Russia. Instead, Moscow uses primarily mobilized troops from Kalmykia, Buratia, and Dagestan as their cannon fodder in Ukraine. A gas explosion in a residential building in southern Russia on Thursday killed four people and injured another four, local emergency officials said. The blast occurred early in the morning in the city of Cherkisk in the Karakachurkessia region, which borders Georgia. The explosion partially destroyed two upper stories of a five-story residential building, the emergency officials said. Russian law enforcement has launched a criminal probe, suspecting safety violations. Gas explosions in residential buildings are fairly common in Russia. In August, a gas explosion destroyed a section of a five-story residential building in the Ural Mountains, killing 11 people. At the time, the Russian state news agency TASS reported that between the beginning of 2022 and August 1, 2024, at least seven such explosions occurred, killing a total of over 50 people. По поручению главы создан оперативный штаб, 
на котором будет принято решение по оказанию всей необходимой помощи пострадавшим людям. Создан пункт временного размещения граждан. Все э, жители этого дома будут доставлены и обеспечены горячим питанием.